get started. 741. Uh, somebody open us up with a brief uh, word of uh, prayer, and then uh, we're going to get started. Please. <laughs> All right. Okay. Dear Lord, we come before you as humble as we know thank how. You. Say thank yeah. you for bringing us to this day, for giving yeah. us another opportunity to look at, to yeah. worship you in spirit and truth, another yeah. opportunity to take and learn more about you, another yeah. opportunity, Lord God, to take and assemble together, Lord God, that we may learn from one another, that we yeah. may have to help each other, Lord God, to take and lift up the name of Jesus Christ. We thank yeah. you for your continued blessing and keeping of our uh, branch of Zion, Lord God. We pray for all yeah. our sick and shut in, Lord God. We thank yeah. you for your blessings upon our bereaved families, Lord God. Yeah. We yeah. just pray, yeah. Heavenly Father, for each and every person that dwells on the face of this earth, Lord God. Yes, we yes. pray, Heavenly Father, for understanding in what is going on around us, Lord God. Yes, all yes. the murder and mayhem, Lord God. Yeah. All the sickness, yeah. Lord God. So many different things, Heavenly yeah. Father that has inundated us, Lord God, with things mm -hmm. that we don't worry about. But Lord God, we're going to do as you say and give it over to you, you Lord God. Your words that yeah. do not worry about anything, but yeah. in all things, in prayer and supplication, give it to you, Lord God. So we thank you for that opportunity. We yeah. thank you, Lord God, for your uh, beloved son, Jesus Christ, who yes. is our Lord and Savior. We pray, yeah. Lord God, that we will learn something this night, Lord God, that yeah. will carry us through the rest of this week. Yes. Thank you for your blessing from Pastor Horn and Sister Janice, all of our ministerial staff, Thank and each you, person Thank you. who considered not robbery, Lord God, to join us in this time yes. of our learning, Lord God. Help us to open up our minds, Lord God, our yes. spirit, and we receive what you have sent out for us today, Lord God, because we know and trust and believe that your word does not return void, and it yes. will do what it has been sent out to do, Lord God. So we yes. thank you. We love you. We Thank worship, you. We praise your blessed and holy name. In Jesus' yes. name we pray. We are thanksgiving always. Amen. 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 Thank, you, Amen. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Once Bless again, you. we welcome each and every one uh, yes. that has taken time out of their busy schedule to uh, tune in uh, with us here in our Bible study. I'm uh, blessed again. I got my one of my granddaughters on, Danielle, is on, on the uh, uh, Bible study tonight. And I just finished yes. talking to her, so I'm glad she was able to tune in uh, while she came. she's at work, but she's with us and keep her and everybody Amen. else in prayer. Yes. Amen. Uh, Amen. We're going to pick up again here, and uh, we, we, we should be the last, well, maybe one more week on this because it's so much, but uh, we don't want to continue. But we've been talking about why hurt people hurt people Amen. and we ask the question is it a mental health issue or what the bible says about it and mm -hmm. um, i want to open up um uh today this evening um uh on proverbs chapter 12 two passages proverbs chapter 12 verse 25 it's on the screen there new king james Version and then I'm going to look at Matthew chapter six, verse thirty-four. So somebody read it up on the screen. Proverbs chapter twelve, verse twenty-five. Please. Anybody? Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. Glad, amen. Okay, but a good word makes it glad. Did you? Yeah. Amen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Pointer. How about Matthew chapter 6, verse um, 34? Matthew therefore, 6, 34. Do not, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Pat. Uh, again, it's uh, really a rhetorical question, I guess, but I'm going to ask, have you ever found yourself wondering uh, where your battles with depression and anxiety fit uh, into a world that says it will all go away if you believe enough? But sometimes that doesn't work. I mean, you can believe and you can trust God, but still be worried, still be depressed, and, and still have mental health battles uh, to face. And, um, 
sometimes they, they, you know, people act like if you're a Christian, you don't have as many problems or you don't have uh, problems, the same problems as everybody else, but that's not true. And uh, that's why we're here uh, when we talk about why hurt people hurt people and 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 and, and uh, how it affects and impacts us, uh, uh, the mental uh, attitude and all that kind of stuff. And if we don't address some of these uh, issues, it can lead into further. Uh, it can get worse, and we don't want it to happen. And so that's why we try to keep uh, be informed and to uh, see if anything. And the Bible does address everything in life, whether or not it's specifically. Uh, 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 addresses word by word verbatim, but it still has uh, addresses whatever it is, and it may say it in a different kind of way. And our mental health um, uh, is very, very important. And there are a number of factors that affect your mental health and mine. And I don't know if we're going to have time tonight, but we're, and I mentioned it last week, uh, sometimes you think you're the only one having uh, mental health issues, or sometimes we're even embarrassed as Christians to even uh, uh, mention it to other people. And some people you just can't talk to, but everybody has to deal with at some point in time mental health issues. And um, Amen. There, there are contributing factors that affect our mental health. And they could be the environment, uh, our experiencing uh, experiences, and family and upbringing, they all have something to do with our mental health and uh, oftentimes the, the state uh, of our mental health, the environment mm -hmm. and, 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 and our life experiences and the family that you grow up in and, 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 and the parental guidance or lack of has a lot to do with your mental health. And when we're, I'm talking about the impact of our environment and uh, how it uh, really impacts our mental health, uh, the, 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 the things around you, the people, the you know, uh, even the the way things look. You know, if you yes. got if you live in a home that's boxed up and boxes and everything, it it it, it does something to your mental attitude. You, you know, yes. you don't clear things out. Am I right about it? Amen. And, and so, so when we're cluttered up, you know, your mind can become cluttered and, and, and it will impact the way you feel and the way you, you, you feel about other people. Uh, the, the social connections, the people you allow in your life. Uh, you know, all of us, people are always talking. I, I, I mentioned this to us a, a long time. We're always hearing voices. Every day, there's, there, yeah. there, there's voices that we have to contend with. We have to uh, sometimes uh, push back on. There are all kinds of voices. People are talking all the time. Uh, 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 the enemy is in your head or tries to get in your head. Sometimes we talk to ourselves. And we've yes. got to filter that up. And then we say, God is the Holy Spirit is trying to talk to us. So you got voices all over it. And we got to deal with that. And, and um, sometimes if we experience a conflict or loss of a, 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 a loved one or even relationships, relationships that we had a long time ago and thought we'd always have, sometimes there's breakups in those kind of relationships. So there are a whole lot of things that can affect our uh, mental health, uh, the, the social connections, money and housing impact yes. your mental health amen amen, uh, amen. Yeah. yeah you know uh, we don't like to talk about it but our finances whether we have we we never have enough maybe some of you do but uh, you, you never <laughs> have, you have enough money it, it's always yeah. spend 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 everything's going up just when you think you've got uh you know a, a little extra uh, something else goes up the prices of this the prices of that something breaks down it's always something that's going to impact or uh, affect you your 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 mental stability and all that yeah. kind of your mental health uh we just read the uh, the scriptures in the beginning here feeling anxious about mm -hmm. your finances about your work situation 
can, can make your mental health worse. Being unemployed or underemployed, if that's such a thing, you know, can, can, can dislodge your sense of purpose. There's so many different things. Even about, how about this? The house repairs, uh, your mortgage payments, all yeah. of those things affect us. Uh, 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 we're living constantly being challenged and sometimes overwhelmed by those different things. Changes in your circumstances. I'm going somewhere. You know. That COVID-19 yeah. changed a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. it, it changed a whole lot. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was in the um, doctor's office today. And, you know, you still have to wear masks in, in certain places, the hospitals yes. and all that. Stuff. Yes. But uh, a couple of people came in. It was more people in the doctor's yeah. office today than it has been. One of the uh, uh, people said, man, I ain't seen this many people since COVID, you know, and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of sort of trying to get back to some normalcy, but it's still not yes. the same. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and, and so we're still impacted by, uh, you know, stuff that's going on and, 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 and uh, we got to deal with stuff. We got to deal with it, right? And yeah. Uh, with that being said, uh, if I were to ask a question, if you were to um, gauge your mental health where you are today, this evening, uh, ten being you know strong, uh, uh, where would you gauge it? One being you know uh, really kind of bad. Where would you say your mental uh, state is? Uh, you know, are you strong? Are you are you bound or? Uh, overwhelmed by issues, or where would you give Rachel your, your 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 mental health right now tonight? Uh, one to ten, ten being the highest. Where would you rate somebody or a few people your mental health right now? Not uh, all at once. Uh, I'll okay. go. I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> I'll say somewhere between seven and eight, depending on okay. the day. Okay. 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 Anybody else? Where would you? Seven to eight now. Seven to eight. Why, why is it seven to eight? You said dependent upon the day because 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 sometimes, well, it, sometimes, um, like we're on Sundays. Okay, that would be an eight going to a nine. Okay. Sometimes I get overwhelmed by uh, the things like say like my refrigerator breakdown or yeah. say like I get a big. Um, uh, real uh, tax bill, like for my real estate taxes. It's like de right. everything depends on what's going on at that particular moment. It could be your bills, it could be your health, it could be right. uh, the uh, like the, the neighborhood that we live in and things like right. that. So I'm never really above, I'm not nine and I'm not 10. I'm always in the process of trying to get as high as I can to that yeah. eight and a half or something like that because and I realized that I have uh, I have uh, times of depression, you know, because yeah. I feel like I'm overwhelmed. Like yeah. there's things going on in this world that sort of like uh, depresses me because I can't right. understand why people are the way that they are. And but uh, and I understand that all these things have been uh, foreordained, you know, foretold. Yeah. So I'm trying yeah. wrestling with accepting both uh, things, you know, what is going on and what is. And that uh, I shouldn't worry about it because God already told us these things are going to happen. But yes. I can't say that it, it does not affect me because it does. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Sister Pat. And I saw that Deacon Tarek Johnson had put up there his mental health right now would be a number seven. You know, yeah. and, and that's what he had put up there. And, yeah. and look on the screen again, it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Now, with this all being said, we're talking about why hurt people hurt people. People hurt people oftentimes because they're hurting or have yes. been hurt, and they that's the way they handle it or or deal with their hurt. They they you know they try to they lash out at other people. They, they you know that's the way they handle it. And, 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 and anybody else want to give a gauge? Where are you to, to tonight or this evening? On on um, you know uh, 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 mental Pastor. health. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I'm probably about it the same about a seven. Okay. Seven seven and a half eight. 
Um, Seven and a half. But I but, I, <laughs> but I, I think part of my stressing, um, I'm trying to think, like Sister Pat said, it does gauge on what's going on. Um, yeah. You know, I know personally, it's probably getting ready for Jasmine. You know, she turns 21. So setting that 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 stuff up, you know, getting that ready, you know, that probably is is where the stress. And then also uh, with my job, like constantly um, helping. So I think, but at this moment, I'm probably about seven and a half, eight. Okay. Amen. Um, Yep. Amen. That's thank you, Reverend Porter. Anybody? We have one more. Person. Where are you tonight? Somebody else who would dare to to volunteer? Where you are? Are you that low? I mean, that's okay too. <laughs> no. Come on, Elma. <laughs> no. <Okay>. No. <laughs> I'll stand my eight. Okay. Amen. 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 Uh, you know, eight is is great, and then you can be down Amen. to two. You know. Yeah. Yes. But, but where I we are, say, uh, pick up my six. It, is, it is what uh, Kiana said. She's a seven. I see it on the screen. Deacon yeah. Charles said he's a seven. Um, my granddaughter Danielle is on, and I'm not gonna put her. I'm just blessed that she's on it. So we're gonna leave her alone. But I'm glad that Amen. she's here. But, but um, uh, if you want to see where I'm at right now, the pastor, I'm about eight. Amen. But wait a minute. If you'd ask me, my sister asked me a few days ago, I was around a four. Oh, my word. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kiana. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my sister Great. said, you know, ask me, uh, how's your day? I said, no, I'm not having a great day right now. And, and I was real. Yes. You know? So, so, so we don't have to be, uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking at a message on, uh, I don't have to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's okay to not be okay. Yeah. It's yeah. not to be okay. Yeah. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think uh, I'm about uh, a six now, Pastor. This six? week okay. alone, this month alone, um, I got a lot of projects going on in my house. I got a lot of family members that got stuff going on and I'm trying to fix everything and everybody. Mm. And then I get my own medical, you know, my history well, you know, my health and it's just overwhelming, you know? And yeah. I can't, I remember Reverend pointed to, yeah, you can't. And I remember a nurse, my director of nursing one time, you can't, Save everybody, everyone. Yes. And that's yes. what I keep trying to Yes. That's yeah. True. Yes. Yes. So maybe, a, yeah, I think I might be a five, but I'm going to say go right. with a six. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. No, I mean, yeah, but it, it is what it is. And the reason mm-hmm. I'm saying that, it, 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 it is what it is. And the reason I'm saying is that sometimes. We want to put, see, I could say a 10, but if it's not a 10, just me saying it, that's not going to help me. No, you know, not yeah. Not yeah. Right. let's be honest. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got to be honest with mm-hmm. yourself. I'm not a mm-hmm. 10 right now. I'm not a, you know, I told you the other day, I felt like a four. I mean, I'm just pulling that out of my hat, so to speak. It wasn't mm-hmm. beyond a five, I'll tell you that. I didn't like it, but that's where I was. My yeah. mental my mental health at that time. And thank God I'm not normally there. That was another thing. I'm no Amen. More, yes. normally, thank I'm you. nowhere near that. Amen. I guess sometimes God says, I want you to let you to know you like everybody else. You can be down in the dumps mm-hmm. for whatever reason. You know what I mean? And then God allows Amen. that sometime to see how I'm going to handle. Am I going to turn to him or whatever? Amen. Right. Amen. Yes. And sometimes, Pastor, you can't help nobody when yourself is going through it because sometimes you need the help and you trying to yeah. be the help for everybody else. It'd be too yes. over on you. Yes, it is. Yes, you're right. Woman, 
Yes, you're absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. And listen, guys, and, and see, honesty is one of the best things we can deal with. We're talking about in our study, in my study of why hurt people hurt people and the importance of your mental health and what the scripture, because we're going to look at that uh, momentarily. Uh, I'm looking at, um, uh, uh, I'm going to put you on notice. I'm looking at, as we talk about hurt people hurt people, you got people and they'll come up on another lesson that always judge people. And mm -hmm. that's Amen. The focus, that's the focus yeah. of a hypocrite. Amen. And, and we're going to talk about that a little later on. But fear and anger are an, an, an immediate reaction to pain and, and namely depression and anxiety in our lives. But however, God can use our fear and anger as a conduit for his glory. Mm. Yes. Take what was uh, 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 would be seen something ugly and turn it out into something beautiful or use something that was meant for evil and work it out yes. for our good and his glory. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Yeah. You calling see, me? See, when when we embrace huh? when we embrace all of our imperfections and come honestly before the Lord with our heart, hearts open. God can do something with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. God wants us to be honest, you know, and again, with that being said, we can't tell everybody everything about us. Now don't do that. Say that again. I heard somebody, I didn't want to interrupt if you had something to say. See, uh, uh, the hurt you and I can carry uh, the, the hurt you carry, the knowledge that reaching out to somebody uh, hasn't been enough. Sometimes because we're crying out for help, we cry out in the wrong way. Yes. A lot of people are hurting and a lot of people are angry. You know, people can be angry with God without even mentioning, but God knows you need to turn to him. And sometimes we don't want to pray. We don't mm. feel like praying. And so mm -hmm. we don't pray, but mm -hmm. because we, our feelings cannot dominate what we ought to do, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't allow that. And, and sometimes when we talk about why hurt people hurt people, you have to be willing to reach out for help. Amen. You Amen. have to be willing to reach out. Uh, 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 uh. And you can always, you say, when can I? You can start right now. You know, I didn't do it yesterday. I didn't do it. But mm -hmm. we, we, and we can pray that God would put somebody in our lives or bring somebody to, to mind that we can reach out. Because you can't do that with everybody. But Lord, I need Amen. to talk to somebody. Mm. Yes. And guess what? We, we, we know this pretty much. Struggling with mental health does not make us less of a Christian. No, it does not. You know, some people think they're not spiritual when they're dealing with mental health, it, it, and, and that's not true. Yeah. Matter of fact, I've already said God can use huh, uh, people that are struggling. We're going to look at that in a moment. Every individual, each one of us is made in God's image. That's what he says. Amen. But each one of us is fearfully and wonderfully made, according to Psalm yeah. 139. Yes. Yeah. What, is that, what does that mean to anybody when, when, when we hear the Bible says we're fearfully and wonderfully made? What comes to mind, anybody? What, what comes to mind when you hear that? Or does anything come to mind? Fearfully and wonderfully made. Well, I think you said it when you said that we are made in God's image. Amen. 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 Okay. In his image, the ability to think, the ability to make decisions. The ability and 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 this we can make decisions about whether or not we're going to serve him or not. Amen. In spite of what's going on, when you can praise God in spite of things going on terribly wrong in your life, I think that's a great thing. Amen. 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 When you can Amen. still praise God in spite of what's going on in your life, I think that's a great thing. Pastor. Amen. Yes, go ahead. Robert. I think it's a sign of growth and maturity when you when you're able to be disciplined enough to still give God praise, even when you don't necessarily feel like it, yeah. um, because like you said on Sunday, you know, our feelings, 
you said this before, a feeling should be a gauge, not a guide. Yeah. Um, like I, yeah. I, I may yeah. not feel like praising God. That's, you know, I, I'm having a day. Yeah. But that shouldn't guide me into making a bad decision when we're told yeah. to give him praise all the time. Yeah. So I think I think yes. us moving beyond our feelings, you know, particularly when they're negative or when they are trying to get us to do something contrary of what God wants us to do. I think being able to push through that is just signs of, um, you know, yeah. of our growth and maturing in him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. And, and thank you, uh, Reverend Pointer. And, 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 and I invite those of you that are just listening. Sometimes what you have on your mind to say might be a benefit to the whole class. So I, I, yes, I encourage yes, uh, participation. Uh, understand the Bible does not specifically refer to the topic of mental health. However, it does speak a lot about a person's emotions, their mind. Yes their soul, and their heart. And mental health yeah. is an extremely important topic that everybody needs to be somewhat familiar with, particularly in today's, the way things are going on today. Mm -hmm. and, and, yes. and oftentimes, often in the past, uh, people believed or were taught that mental health problems were directly related to the devil. And it was the result of demonic possession. However, that's not all the way true. Yeah, you can be. Now, we yeah. talk about a Christian can't be. You, 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 you might have a, a opposition, but the devil can't take control of me if I belong to the Lord. I have to Amen. relinquish with some things. And God doesn't want me to do that. And, and, and a lot of people struggle with mental health problems uh, today. But this does not mean they're possessed, nor does it mean they're not saved. Because we just finished talking. I told you. And I know that I'm saved. I know that I know that I know. But I told you I had a four. Uh, when we talked about the level, I had a rough day a few days ago. Yes. And so the what is the connection between the Bible and mental health? I'm glad <laughs> you asked. What is the connection? Is there a connection between mental health and the word of God? And we need to understand that some of the common ailments associated with mental health, and we already said anxiety and depression, fit in there. And I was looking at my studies according to the um, this anxiety and depression association uh, of America. They said 264 million people struggle with depression. Yeah. And they said about 40 million people struggle with anxiety somebody's always worried yeah yeah somebody's always worrying life throws whatever it throws at you that if you continue to look at what life has to offer you can't help but worry and that's mm. why the bible says we got to a certain way mm. amen and if and, you amen. know if, if we struggle with if you're struggling with the mental health issues you're not alone. You're not alone. And, and, and you need to know that you're not the only one. And it's crucial that we as believers don't judge, belittle, or condemn other people who struggle with mental illness. Particularly, here we go, when some of us have had to deal with some of the same things as quiet mm -hmm. as yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so rather than condemning those with mental illness, Believers are supposed to help to show kindness and love them. Again, mental illness and, and, and mental health issues can be attributed to uh, 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 anger, bitterness, yes. um, you, the loss of a loved one, you, you, yes. you know, or a combination of things just seemingly thrown at you all at once. Mm. Okay, and, and, and rather than condemning those with mental illness, I mean, we've got family members, we've got friends, we've got coworkers, mm -hmm. we've got folks that you know are lashing out because God gives us the spirit of discernment. We know yeah. that something wrong, they're hurting, but they don't, they refuse to, they, they think they become too vulnerable if they let you know that. So they put up this stiff resistance and, 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 and ugly face for lack of a bad attitude. 
When you need, you know, you need somebody to, you need to be able to talk to somebody. But sometimes, whatever for whatever reason, you won't do that. But we're supposed to help the. How can you help a person when a person's being mean to you? Should you be mean back to them? No. 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 Never. Never. Amen. Look, look at what John 13, uh, St. John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35 says. John, it's up on the screen. John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35, the New Living Translation. Here's what it says that God wants us to be noted for, even when people are acting ugly. Somebody read that, please. I lost it. Yeah, it's on the screen if you can if you can see it up there. If if you I, know, I got it, it looks somebody else got it. Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Who is that? Somebody else had it. Right? Evelyn. Evelyn. Evelyn, you got to read it. So, then. Okay. Yes. So now I am giving you a new commandment: love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Verse 35, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Amen. 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 Part of that is easy to do when somebody's being mean to you. None of it. None of that is easy to do. No. No, it's not. not. Yes. Why do we have, and I'm just asking, and I kind of, why do we have such a hard time of loving somebody when they're being mean? Because it's natural to want to get even with them. Okay. Yeah. Thank we you. feel like we feel like they don't deserve it. They don't deserve to mm. be loved or, or at least love from me. They don't deserve it. Yes. Yeah. Anybody because, else? Because huh? the world teaches you, the world teaches you an eye for an eye. Mm. It's what you to pay back. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And it's part of our human nature. Yeah, I, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, because we have good and bad in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's part of our <laughs> DNA, for lack of better words. When somebody's mean to me, I'm going to respond as, as the same way. You show me no pity. Or you're lashing out of me, particularly when I know I haven't done anything to earn what you're dishing out. Right. And 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 guess what? What I'm saying and what we're talking about is not something that you and I can do in and of ourselves. We need Amen. to and allow the Amen. Lord to do it through us. Yes, Amen. exactly. And and, yes. and and doing that, we have to wait a minute. We have to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And that's Amen. where the hard part is. I got to give out of the way. And what we think we're doing is we're being too nice. And, and yes. without saying it, sometimes you can think the Lord is being too nice. You being too nice. Wait a minute. What, what, what about what he gave grace and mercy to us? What is it? His goodness mm -hmm. and his mercy. Mm -hmm. Follow us. Mm -hmm. All the days of our life. Mm -hmm. Goodness and mercy. That's true. When we've been ugly. Mm -hmm. When we said yeah. things that we shouldn't have said, when we thought things yeah. that we shouldn't have thought, mm -hmm. when done things that we shouldn't have done, goodness and mercy still follows us. Follow us. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Thank you. All the days. All the days. Are Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, uh, goodness and mercy. Is anybody other than me glad about goodness and mercy? Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm glad. Thank you. Yes, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. <laughs> Thank you. Now, listen, that, that's a good thing. And and the, the the individual's body, because we're talking about. I want to look at the body and the mind. The individual's body and mind. Listen, are both factors of a person's mental health. Listen, what I mean, if a person's mind and body are having difficulties, a person's mental state will suffer as well. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. If, 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 let, yeah. let me see if I can give you an example. The prophet Elijah had to deal with mental health issues. I'll tell you this. Mm -hmm. 
Did you know that Elijah was a prophet who struggled with and wanted to give up his life? Yes. Yes. We often lot times, if you get that, you it lead it can lead to suicidal thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Bible didn't tell me that he had so, but it says he did want to say, take my life. Yes. Let's look at first Kings chapter 19. Verse mm-hmm. First Kings, it's up there. It's up there. That's on the screen. Amen. Look at who wants, who hasn't read um there's verses four through eight. First Kings chapter 19. Talking about Elijah. Talking about people that we read, great mighty men, uh, 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 people in the Bible. They had mental health issues. They had to yeah. deal with it. Yeah. Somebody read that, please. Okay. Then, oh, well, I'll read if no one else will. Okay. Then he went, then he went on alone into the wilderness, traveling all day. He sat down under a solitary broom tree and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life, for I am no better than my ancestors who have already died. And he lay down and slept under the broom tree. But as he was sleeping, an angel touched him and told him, get up and eat. He looked around, and there beside his head was some baked bread on hot stones and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and lay down again. Then the angel of the Lord came again and touched him and said, get up and eat some more or the journey ahead will be too much for you. Verse eight. So he got up and ate and drank and the food gave him enough strength to travel 40 days and 40 nights to Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes. Don't give up. Get up. That's right. That's true. That's, good. That's, That's right. Real good. Don't give up. Get up. Listen. Yes. Did you see oh. the example? Go ahead, uh, Sister Evelyn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm? No, I mentioned that the other day to you. Remember? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Um, I do. And, and 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 you've had experiences in your yes. journey that that have led to you've done that you 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 when you could have given up you didn't yes 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 yes, yes. having said that we're talking about mental health issues elijah listen as we read on god was not through with him god had had already used him mightily but the enemy threatened him Jezebel and and all that kind of stuff He goes and hides himself, Mm. and I'm sure, using my sanctified imagination, he's forgetting about the fact that God used him miraculously, and now he's succumbing to, I'm vulnerable, I want to die, I'm I'm just cutting, I want to give up, I'm done, and God says, wait a minute, I'm talking about the physical, the body and the mind, you need to be energized. Your yes. body, you're not yes. eating. I don't know who God is talking to. You're not eating. God says, mm-hmm. I've got you for you. I eat some food. I'm, I'm going yeah. to, I, I, I need to replenish you because I've got more work for you to do. Amen. Verse Amen. Says, yes. Says, the Lord came again and touched him and said, Get up and eat some more. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or the journey ahead will be too much for you. Yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Eat some more. Keep on. Listen, keep on feeding. Let's take it to spiritual. Life. Keep on reading my word. Keep yes. Yes. Church. Keep on fellowshipping with other believers. Amen. Yes, yes. A young woman, older man, older woman. God is. We're not living today because God don't have nothing else to do. He's still, whoever you are on this line, God has use for you, young or old. Yes. yes. Oh, yes, yes he, he does. does. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Pastor. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, me and my wife were just talking the other day about um, Moses in, in Numbers 11 was saying the exact same thing. Like, he he basically said in... Um, in Numbers 11, he said, if I find favor in your sight that I might, oh, no, he said, if you are going to treat me like this, kill me at once. He was so yeah. tired of dealing yeah. with the people that he had led 
out of Egypt. They're like, they they've seen all these miracles that you've done, but yet yeah. you're still complaining. Yeah. You know, and they, they just complain all the time. And he was yeah. just so fed up. He's like, you know, yeah. what he had to deal with, go through. He's like, just kill me. Just, yeah. just take yeah. me. And I think it's a reminder when we look at these people yeah. that um, you can be worn or feel worn down by doing the work of the Lord, you know, yeah. um, because yeah. doing the work of the Lord requires you to, to work and deal with other people. Yeah, um, yeah, it, yeah. It, it can yeah. be it can be a lot like the you know their attitudes you know yeah. um, their behavior you know yeah. your mm-hmm. expectations you know that you have in regard to trying to lead what at times they call stiff neck people you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. can, can yeah. be frustrating and that, and that can wear on one's mental health and we see these people at these times as they're going through this and it's a reminder to us that you know, we have to guard our mind and, and our hearts yeah. and and be mindful of, uh, like you said, the, the stress of the toll that um, serving the Lord, you know, can take. And yeah. you have to take care of yourself, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically, yeah. you know, in order to stay focused enough to continue, like you said, mm-hmm. to continue to keep doing the work. Because each of them was still in a place where God still had more for them to do. Yeah, like, this isn't the time for you to 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 kind of give up and throw in the towel now. Right. Even though this right. is how you feel, you know. So the only way we're going to be able to push through um, with God's work is if if is if we like take care of our spiritual, mental, and physical, you know, well being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 I wanted to run. I wanted to add on with. Uh, Deacon Tark was saying too, I think it also shows that even the people that we consider the pillars of Christianity, you know, like like yeah. Moses, Paul, all of them are still vulnerable and have moments where they want to give up. And that should encourage us to not put those people on pedestals, but that they're going to experience the same problems like we have or yeah, issues yeah. and and yeah. and they, they have moments when they're feeling down just like we do. You know what yeah. I mean? Because sometimes we think people can be super Christians or super saints and they don't have any struggles. Right. But like the guitar was saying, they all, and like you're saying as well, they all have their moments. So we shouldn't be putting nobody high up on a pedestal, but understand right. that right. we can be used by God, but we also at the same time can be, um, you know, vulnerable and, and have weak moments as well. Amen. Amen. Yes. Absolutely. And we're, we're the hurt people, hurt people, and, and hurting people, uh, uh, people that are hurting sometimes lash out because they're not handling their hurt or they're not handling their depression, their anxiety, whatever it is, properly. And they, 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 they lash out at other people. And God says, you don't have to do that. And yeah. we've all been in, in, in certain times and periods in our lives when we've been overwhelmed with whatever. Um, mm-hmm. My wife said something to me the other day, and, and I, I had like, oh, maybe it was that time when I was talking to my sister, and I said, I, she asked me how I'm feeling. I said, oh, I'm, I'm just done. When I was around a three or four. But I, I was doing too much. Here we go. I was doing yes. too much. And I, yeah. I, you know, you want to be there, and this is no way for me to tell people don't calm down. But I was taking on too much too soon, mm-hmm. and, 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 and and it, it was overwhelming me. Yes, and, you know, I was trying to compensate by saying, "Well, it, it's it's the thing to do." But God says, "You're only one person; you can't do it all." Exactly. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and I told my wife, and she said, honey, why don't you go lay down? I needed to lay down. It's like you tell a child, go sit and get some bits or get, take a nap. Go take a nap. <laughs> For real. And, yes. and, and I needed, I, and, no, I didn't. I guess in my mind, I needed my wife to say to me at that time, you need to take a nap when I knew I needed to, but then somebody else would be left hanging. God said, I'll take care of that. And that's my situation. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You you go take it. You won't be oh. good down the line if you wear yourself out now. Mm, yeah. Yes. So true. You, you know, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, 
says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares. Yes. 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 All of our worry. The Bible says, oh, yes. Yes. Because why? He cares. Some of us act, when I say us, it doesn't have to be you per se, but some of us seem to forget that God really cares, or we don't believe he really cares. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. He does. He does. Yeah. Here's a part of it. First Peter chapter 5, I'm going to say verse 6 and 7. I'm going to try to finish this tonight. It says, First Peter chapter 5, verses 6 and 7 says, so here we go, humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Humility mm -hmm. has a lot to do with all of what we're talking about. Pull it to the door. Humble yourself under the mighty power of God, First Peter 5, 6 and 7, and then here we go, my wife heard it, at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. Humility is in it. Humble yourself, not just under to anything, under the mighty hand of God or power of God. I'm reading New Living Translation, 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7. And at the right time, mm -hmm. he will lift you up in honor. Verse 7 says, give all your worries and care to God. Here we go again. For he cares Thank you. Oh, thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's got to believe. I've got listen. I've got to believe, even though I don't see it, sometimes that God cares for me. Amen. Sometimes we kind of equate whether God cares for us or not based on what's going on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel. I feel it. I don't mm. feel that God cares because of look at this, that, and I don't have this. I'm struggling with that. So how could mm. God, in my humanness, how could God really care about me and I'm going through that? No, God is caring all the more about me because oh, yes. we all have tribulation. Yes. Yeah. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? Mm. No, there's a cross for everyone, and there is one for me. So because Amen. I'm going hey. through, and I like the word operative, going through, yes. does not mean that God does not care. So I've got to say, in spite of what I feel, in spite of what I can't see, God, you said you care about me, so that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to believe. Amen. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Not only anxiety is a mental health issue, but depression mm -hmm. is a mental health issue. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I've already heard someone say on this line tonight, the, the depression, it, it's another common mental health problem that mm -hmm. people Christians can struggle with. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and, and let me give you an example. Uh, David in Psalms 23. Mm-hmm. David said in Psalms 23, verse 4, mm. even though I walk through the yes. darkness of the valley, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art defended by what thou art with me. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Comfort me. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Don't tell me David had to deal with the, all kind of stuff. Amen. You got, to, you got to talk. You got to speak good things. You got to the word into your life. Amen. Speak. Oh, yes. And remember God's faithfulness. Yes. 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 Eleanor, God's faithfulness. How many of us, and I'm asking, how many of us know that God has been faithful? Oh, Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes, he brought me to this point right now. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And guess how much we all know this too. We may not get to where we want him to get when we want him to. But He's always, he's never late. Always. Yes. Always on time. Yes. yes. Let somebody okay. say, listen, you've been praying for this, that, and the other. But guess what? When God comes through, not if, but when, you don't mm. think about how long it was or what you waited. It's always on time. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Always. Yes. Here. Amen. It's always on time. 
even mm, though yeah. it's five years, I ain't trying to speak five years. I want to be five minutes. But even though it's five years, look, the midnight hour. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, oh, when, yes. <laughs> when you really are about ready to give up, God knows how much we can take. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Everybody hey. on this line can take, all of us can't take the same amount of pressure. Mm. No one mm. on this line, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know where we are, but we, we're not all on the same, see, we can't uh, 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 take the same amount of pressure. Yeah. We, can't, we can't absorb that. But the Bible says God can turn our sadness, Psalms 30 and 11, into dancing. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's why the world thinks you're crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let, 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 let me try. To <laughs> yeah. yeah, the world thinks you're crazy. I mean, you know, you, you mean to oh, tell yeah. me the church don't have this, that, and the other. You're talking about praising God. I wouldn't even go to that old church. <laughs> I got to yeah. go somewhere where look, you know, looks can be very deceiving. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you might look good on the outside. You heard me say that. But underneath the skin, mm-hmm. living in quiet desperation. Yes. Can I give you another, another uh, 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 health challenge, a uh, 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 mental uh, uh, health uh, uh, reality? Not only anxiety and depression, but eating disorder uh, is a mental oh, health yes. issue. Yes. Open to the door. Some of us listen. We cope with our problems by eating. Yes. When I get the first, I eat. Is anybody else oh, going to eat? And I'm not hungry. You try to eat your troubles away. Yes. I got to get that smoothie. I got to get that. You know what it is. You want to eat your troubles away. Yes. And guess what? The Bible talked about God does not want any of us to destroy our bodies by, you know, uh, uh, see, some of us, either we eat too much or you deny your food. Won't we? Mm-hmm. We sometimes either eat too much or when we're down or we, we feel an overwhelm, we refuse to eat. I don't have an appetite. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. So, so, so we're still uh, 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 doing harm to ourselves. Here's, a, here's the passage as we hasten on here. Psalms 139, verses 13 to 18. I, I know you like these up here. Psalm 139, verses 13 to 18. The New Living gets up there. Who, who wants to read? That's too many. Want you I'll to read, read it. Okay, Denise. Oh, Lord, wait a minute. I think I, I was tapping on my screen. Okay, here we go. Okay. You can okay. hear me? Okay. Yeah. Um, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderful. Fully complex. complex. Mm-hmm. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. 15. You wanted me as I was being, you watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. Listen. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life, I was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, oh God? They cannot be numbered, 18. Can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of the sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Amen. 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 Am
somebody that's hurting, somebody that thinks they're abandoned, somebody mm. that's been rejected, whatever age you are, when my mother and father forsake me, Psalm 27, the Lord will take me up. Somebody Amen. needs to know that you're never yes. alone. God will never, never leave nor forsake you. When everybody Thank else you. throws you away, doesn't understand you, God says, he starts to, I made you. I know Amen. the number of hands on your head. Who Amen. wouldn't want to trust the God like that? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. God is so awesome. He is so awesome. Yes, if you're he is. With mental illness or mental issues, there are more. You don't have to give up. You don't have to give way. Paul said it in Philippians. What was it? Philippians four and eight. He tells us yeah. we got to be positive mm -hmm. rather than the negative. Amen. And guess what? There's another word that comes into play, and you'll want to get this. This word is called resilient. R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Mm -hmm. Resilient. Yes. R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-C-E. -E. And that has to do, do with the inner strength that you and I use to mm -hmm. cope with stressful situations. Resilient. Strength. The inner strength you use to cope with stressful situations has to do with your resilience. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that has to do, that's also a big part of your mental health. Y'all want to get that? Mm -hmm. To be resilient means you can effectively cope with ups and downs that are part of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God has left us defenseless and, and all. No, God says, I'm giving you what you need to be able to cope with this, that, and the other. Now, with that being said, there are times when we can't cope. We can't talk about people and say, well, God told no, that is where he or she is, and they need our help. Yes. Okay? Because we can get so super spiritual. Now, yeah, see, you ain't for no. That's where that person, and we don't know their, their journey, what's going on. Why they're not yes. able to cope. You, we got to thank God that we're able to cope as much Amen. as we are. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Am I right about it? Amen. Right. Amen. If we're able to hang in there any kind of way, you got to thank, I know I do. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I want us to close on, I, I, there are a number of people, I already mentioned, who was it? Uh, what did I say? Elijah? Was it Elijah? Yes, Elijah, mm -hmm. and, and 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 then David. Um, mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, that had mental health health issues, including depression, and and we already talked about Elijah, and 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 David. I love to talk about David. We said it, but I want to. David was uh, uh, somewhat overwhelmed with yes. with, with despair, and yes. many of the yes. psalms David writes of his anguish. Yeah. His loneliness, his fear yes. of the enemy. Come on, tell me somebody with mental yeah. health issues. I yeah. mean, God, you know, David, oh, he anguished. You read this, oh, Lord, where are you? I'm paraphrasing. Lord, where have you abandoned me? Lord, he was going through some mental health issues. Mm -hmm. when, 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 in the loss of his sons in 2 Samuel. Yes. Amen. In other places, David's honesty with his own weaknesses gives up hope. David yes. acknowledged. See, everybody, some not every. Some people try to be super strong. No, you're not strong in everything. Amen. Amen. Psalms 42:11. I'm hastening to a close. Why are you? David said in Psalm 42:11, "Why are you downcast, O my soul?" Why so yeah. disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Yes. Yes. Jonah was angry. Yes. He had a mouth. Jonah, not Jonas, Jonah. He was <laughs> angry and he wanted to run away. He had an issue. Remember God, after God called Jonah to go to Nineveh to preach to the people? Yeah. He went as far as away. I'm, I'm, they don't deserve to be saved. 
You know, we get to the point we can kind of pinpoint who needs to be saved by the way they treated me. No, he don't deserve it. Who, who am I to, to tell God that who don't deserve as if I deserved it? Well, I'm telling you, ain't that the truth? Jonah, in Jonah chapter 4, verse 3 says, now, O Lord, take away my life. Here's another person. Mm -hmm. For it is better for me to die than to live. Mm -hmm. and, and Jonah chapter 4, I hope you guys are taking notes. We're almost yeah. done. Jonah chapter 4, verse 9. You might have to read the, just the whole verses and all, but I'm just picking. Mm -hmm. it, it, Jonah chapter 4, verse 9, it says, and even after God reached out to Jonah again with great compassion, he responded, I'm angry. Listen, I'm angry enough to die. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about Job? Everybody knows about Job. Talk Job. about these mental health issues. Job suffered. And guess what? I would say rightly so. All of that taken from him? Yes. I mean, I, I mean, God does all things well. We know that. But in our humanity, to, to suffer those kinds of losses, family, because somebody in here, the Lord allowed and took somebody, one of your loved ones away, and that one person you have the trouble with, uh, 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 you know, with God about. Imagine uh, the daughters and, and, and the family and, and livestock and all that stuff. Even though, although Job maintained his, his, his faithfulness to God, he still was hurt. Yes. Amen. Amen. Although, yes. And then lastly, can you forgive somebody and still be hurt? Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I just want to know. Can you forgive someone and still be hurt? Somebody on yeah. this line needs to know that. Just because you forgive don't mean you still not that you're hurt, not hurt. People are something. Is anybody listening here? I can Amen. forgive somebody and somebody say, Well, mm -hmm. I must be I'm hurting, but I forgave you, or I forgive you. I'm not holding, but I'm still hurt. And God is the one that's going to have to heal my pain. Amen. Yeah. Because yeah. you may not receive it. Yeah. And, and, go right. Down. Right. And the real reason that we want that we can forgive somebody and still be hurt is that we are experiencing pain. And we're trying to figure out if it's unforgiveness that is causing the pain to continue. And unfortunately, forgiveness doesn't equal immediate pain relief. Hello. Amen. Amen. Good. Forgiveness or forgiving somebody does not equal immediate pain relief, especially Amen. when it's a deep wound. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of us have been deeply wounded. You don't have to tell anybody, but some of us, are, it's one thing to be wounded, it's another thing to be deeply wounded. And oftentimes you're deeply wounded because the person who did it is the least one you expected to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people you expect, some you don't. It hurts more when it's somebody you don't. Mm -hmm. Somebody else, I say, well, I expect that, but somebody else who was close to me, you don't expect them to do that. But then again, the Bible says, wait a minute, even the people close to you can hurt you more. Well, but that, that's yeah. a give and take. And that's, and that's why it hurts so much, because they that's were close to so you. Mm -hmm. That's why it hurts so much. You would think that person be the last one. Exactly, yes. You would think, even mm. though it doesn't have to be in the Bible, then, but you would think mm. forgiving someone and still being hurt is much more complex than a simple formula. Mm -hmm. And I guess what that being said is with, what is forgiveness, somebody? A couple of people, what is forgiveness? Oh, we back to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> letting, letting, not a whole lot of responses so did we <laughs> no forgiveness forgiveness is a uh, letting go of what somebody has done to you letting go of the, the pain um relinquishing your right i think you said this before your right to get even you said that before yeah. um yeah. that's what true forgiveness is yeah. um not forgetting but i'm I'm not going to hold that against you or I'm not going to retaliate. 
So I guess that's more of what it is. Yeah, yeah. I heard my sister say, here we go again. But that's what, that's a good point. <laughs> but did we forget? Because guess what? We, 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 you know, we're called to forgive as we have been forgiven according to Amen. Ephesians chapter 4, oh. verse 2, 32, I'm sorry. That's true. We're called to forgive as we have been forgiven. And guess what? We're still being forgiven. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. And 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 Reverend Porter and 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 it, forgiveness is a choice. Yes, addiction that we choose. Yeah, yeah. Forgiveness is not a feeling, and we always say it's not an instant healing or pain mm -hmm. relief. And it's easier often said than done mm -hmm. to do. Oh yes. Amen. Sure and guess is. what? Forgiveness is also as we simply we got to call. Forgiveness is the foundation that healing can be built upon. Amen. 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 If you're holding on to the hurt, then you're still hurting yourself. Forgiveness yes. is the foundation that healing can be built upon. I can't be healed if I'm still holding on what you did to me because yes. the pain is still there and it's festering. Mm -hmm. The sore won't heal if you keep holding it up. Uh, yeah. If you're and waiting to heal, listen, if you're waiting to heal before you forgive, it, just, it ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. no. If you're waiting to heal before you forgive somebody that hurt you, it will be hard to even uh, choose to forgive the offense. Imagine building a house and before the walls, the roof go on, on the foundation is poured. Forgiveness is the foundation that we build the house on. Yeah. In other words, mm -hmm. we got to pour the foundation of forgiveness before the home or the healing can be built. Yes. Hey, Amen. Yes. Uh, uh, listen. We, 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 we're going to be done. It's so much, but <laughs> oh my God. God, and the, not, you, you've heard about no pain, no gain, and that's for real. Trust me. Yes. Pain God allows us to go through is for our good and his glory. Hey, glory. All right. Amen. As we close for tonight, it's 8.48, three minutes past the time, but um, uh, uh, hurt people hurt people. Um, there are, the, 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 we do have to deal with mental health um, issues. Uh, we don't deal with the mental health issues. It can lead to uh, mental illness, which is wor worse. Yes. But then we need to know that the Bible does address without using the words mental health. It does have the concept, the idea of dealing with mental health. And we also saw that there are other biblical characters, so mm -hmm. many more, we just named a few, that have had to deal with mental health issues. And we yeah. saw how they cried out. I'm giving us overall summation of what we've been talking about these last three or four works. We can hurt people, hurt people, and how we can deal. I don't want to allow hurt to continue to keep me from being used by the Lord. When God says grace or goodness and mercy, follow me. God says, I've got greater work for you to do. Don't allow the pain. What's that thing? You'll never be able to change until the pain of remaining the same becomes greater than the pain to pain. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So Amen. That, 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 give God some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, God. If the Lord don't change it, next week we might be on judging people, the focus of a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Judging people. You need to know. It, it, it sounds simpler. Let's see what God said. How that, how that, how that. Amen. On that. Amen. Judge you not, let you be judged. And let, let's see Amen. What that Amen. Because that thing's going to let somebody, let somebody get away. No, let's see what God means by that. Let's see what that talks about. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that talks about. No. And, and, and it's more to it. Uh, I, I pray to you guys. I thank God for each and every one of you on this line. Uh, I, I do thank God for those of you that are faithful with the Bible study. I know you look, I'm tired and I'm the teacher. 
Eleanor, you ever be tired or you got to teach class or you, you know, but you got to do what you got to do. There's other, you have to do. I'm tired, but I do what God called me to do. Then I'm blessed because I've been obedient. Amen. 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 So let's continue to keep tomorrow. We have the homegoing service for uh, Sister Christine Johnson. Uh, uh, we continue to keep, uh, I talked to Pam. She says she's still up and down with this shoulder and in and out and that kind of thing to talk to her earlier. Um, uh, Sister Mary Delbridge, mom, got out of the hospital. She's back in the hospital. But, you know, so it stays going on. And we know the other fa uh, uh, church family members. Let's keep many plans and, and everybody else who I didn't re don't remember all the time. Amen? Amen. All right. Who wants to close it? Did I forget anything? No. Okay, don't don't say Pastor didn't mention you said I didn't forget anything. Amen. So we'll see you on um, Sunday. Lord will yeah, today, yeah. Sunday. And those that'll be here tomorrow to help out in any kind of every kind of way will appreciate it. And um, we're gonna continue to trust God for Amen. everything and through everything. Amen. Yes. Close us out. You don't want me to pick. Somebody. Anybody. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Yes. We thank you for this Bible study. We pray, Lord, that we will use this information to help ourselves and to encourage others. Yes. Help us to lean and depend on you. And Lord, yes. we thank you for the Holy Spirit, your presence yes. out yes. And with us. Help us to lean and depend on you more and less yes. on our own understanding. Yes, we yes. Thank for all the bereaved comfort, strength, and yes. encouragement. And yes. Bless us. Remember each other in prayer. Yes. Lord, we thank you for the body of Christ. Bless us to be the light and salt that you've called us thank to be. Thank you, Lord. We pray that you will bless each of yes, us. Yes, Father God. We rest tonight. And yes. we pray, Lord, that we will come together to praise you tomorrow and Sunday. Yes, Lord. Father God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Trust you no matter what it looks like. And to remember yes. the just shall live by faith. Yes. Amen. Bless we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Have a great night. Get some rest. Get some sleep. Don't talk about giving up. Amen. <laughs> like what Sister said. Don't give up. Give up. Get up. Get up. Don't give up. Get up. Don't give up. Get up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My sister Denise said, Are we on that again? All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Everybody have sometimes, a good time. Sometimes night. I can be a little forgetful, amen. but I remember we did we did go over it. Yeah, but it, 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 amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. You ain't said nothing wrong. You ain't said nothing wrong. Um, All right. Amen. Have a good amen. night. Good night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Thank you, Pastor, once again. Thank you, everybody. Amen. Good night. 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 That was funny. Oh, I love her so much. Oh, heavens.